Um, well bowled. That's got away before the edges fly here too. That's the challenge uh, with uh, bowling second. Hard to defend. First ball. File that under the challenges of bowling on a fast pitch. You bowl of absolute beauty. And before anyone can blink, it's gone to the boundary. Could have gone. The whole 22 without loss. Oh, that is huge. Six runs. First six of the innings, and it comes off the back of Fakhar Zaman. And another donation, 20,000 rupees. Go loop low. Stand in the liver. Oh, that are these. Oh, the beautiful over first up. Changed ends. Look as the man's having none of it. Lovely strike. Tired to show this, and uh, the man has just opened up in that first delivery. And Lahore up to 34 with our class. Tournament six is heading towards 300. And that HBL six counter flying along. This one was even bigger. This is massive. Pace on the ball. And with a man who's opening himself up to play this sort of shot, that's exactly the ball you're looking for. Eighty-one meters. Highest score is thirty-three against Islamabad United. Is this the night for Fakhar Zaman? Already seen Ben Dunk. There's still Chris Lynn to come. There's a calmness about what he's doing at the moment. <laughs> Goes bang down the ground, and that's very nearly killed the cameraman. Good shot, he hit it straight enough. There was a man down there protecting. He's a little bit wider than that, so it has hit the camera. Well, thankfully, that was in... He, he actually looks into that, so it's hit the end of the viewfinder. Wrongen from uh, Yasser Shah. Didn't turn, didn't grip. And Faka just smoked it down the ground. Lynn needs to do something special fairly quickly so that required run rate doesn't get up over 12 too soon. I'm going to try and uh, keep that down. We're in control, and that's what he can do, see? Chris Lynn, the first time he has a crack, it is dispatched. That is just brute strength. Murderous strength from Chris Lynn. If you don't have the bat speed, if you don't have the strength through the legs and through the ground of somebody like Chris Lynn, this is hitting the top half of the bat and going nowhere. He has got through that so, so quickly. Absolutely destroyed it over me, Wicket. My word. Yeah, he's a brute. And he just loves this form of the game. He's a specialist. Just rolls with it. This be one. That's not a bad result, getting him up to the, the other end. Oh, not off. I'll tell you one thing, though. Slats on the Calanders and the games that they've won chasing here. Two games, one against uh, the Gladiators and one against the Kings the other night. At the halfway point, they looked as though they were way, way short. But they are the, the biggest hitting side. A share of it. There he goes, hard, low, flat. He's turning it on now, 15 from 10. How quickly it can change. Lewis Gregory under the pump. He's been on a drip for the last two days. The last thing you want is to be running in and bowling the white ball at Chris Lynn. Goes for the Yorker, misses it, and then gets whiplash as he watches it disappear back over his head. Yeah, no risk when you've got the vertical. It's like a road. Out of here. There it is again. The arrow down the ground, Chris Lynn. 23 from 12, do not leave your seats. You've still got Dunk to come. Got the Peas to come. 
Now they're fast catching up. Kalandas win this and move forward. They'd be what? Number three in the list? In the standings list? If they win today? White ball is played away quite nicely. There's a lot of craft in ball on that occasion. Well, craft from the bowler. Not sure there was too much craft from Lynn. I think he was trying to hit it through that those men on the offside, not over the top. Well bold. <laughs> and no control over that whatsoever. Entertaining cricket. Yeah, what is the thing? Every ball is out of the crease without calling. And so, I mean, it can be so difficult for the non-striker really to know whether he's looking for a single or not, whether he's called for a run or not. Look at his stance here. Here he's setting up. He's going to baseball this out of the ground. He's got in mind, every ball's now going to go to six. He's starting to think, this is my over. Here he goes. That's up in the air. Is it safe? Is it six? It is. Over the rope. May not have middle it, but the result was fantastic, exciting. 100 partnership, sorry, 50 partnership is raised. 100 on the board as well. We've got an eco friendly truck. Well, it doesn't matter how you get them, but the intention, you cannot fault. Cross seamer. He's setting up as though he wants to baseball it out of the ground. That's probably not the ball you want to bowl. If I see a batsman setting up like this, I'm probably bowling full and wide, something out of his hitting zone. Anything but that length. Good striking. The pace is good in, in this partnership, 50 of 31. It requires still over 10, by the way, so it's not that straightforward. They need a couple of blows here, a couple of wickets to make it a bit tough for Kalandas. Once again, wrong length. 50 comes up for Fakhar, his first 50 of this year's HBL PSA. We had to wait for a very long time to see him run into good form and, well, he's provided us with a lot of fun. Good effort, 50 of 34. And the side like him as well. They like what he brings, and they like his role at the top of the order. He's been threatening to put on the score. He's played some wonderful shots throughout the tournament, but never quite gone on. And he's doing that tonight. Again, that ball in that hitting zone. Skipper needs to get to him and say, let's get away from that ball. Um, that's target reduction, though, Ramiz. That never works. With and gone. Once again, Pocher has been fed with some easy stuff. What he's doing is just opening the front leg and looking to be or bank on the back foot and hit it across towards the leg side or cut it. Yeah, you're spot on, Ramiz. Once again, if you imagine a person set in that stance, where do you want it as a batsman? You want it in that hitting play leg spin. Is he any good against leg spin or spin? Yeah. Is pretty decent. We got the answer straight away. Sorry, mate, for asking it. Well, another one to the HBL six counter. Two ninety-five now. Well, I think that shows if you drag it down against Chris Lynn, you're going to go the distance whether you're a spinner or not. Lahore fans in full flow back in Kalandas. This is uh, Chris Lynn's highest score in HBL PSL. This time goes a little wide and still gets worked for four. Massive shot, really was well timed. Hitting a cover drive to a wide ball is pretty special. I think the challenge now, this evening, is the ball's not really turning. So regardless of what he's like against spin, he can almost play this as a medium pacer. The ball's not necessarily turning. I've just been told that his strike rate, rate against spin is much better than pace. Dirk Nanis translate that for all of you. Well, he said his son's going well. He's uh, enjoying the PSL. Feels they're coming out well. 
And uh, they're in a good position for this game. <laughs> Yeah, the placement is outstanding, glorious placement. All too easy for Chris Lynn and Co. 149 now, just 26. Hassan Ali has gone nowhere with his various stints because he's been up and down, too irregular. I don't mind what he's trying to do, get out of the hitting zone, but look at the way Chris Lynn there steps across to off. So that ball wasn't far enough away from him. It just shows what a challenge it is, bowling on such... Welcome back to Gaddafi Stadium and Lahore calendars are well set in this final five overs and as you can see the run rate has been the best for the calendars in the last five, 11.56. Lahore needing 53 from the last 30 balls. 135 for one. It's Chris Lynn and Bakar Zaman currently at it and uh, they're doing it in some style. Who needs Ben Dunn for when Chris Lynn is striking the way he does? Absolutely savage. And Lynn has come out firing. Oh. Crunch that away. Four runs, back to back fours for Lahore. And Carlos. scored 106 in the last 10 overs which you remember in the last five just how well Lahore did to pull it back they picked up four wickets in those last five overs for the addition of just 48 runs so just absolutely manic it's a packed house here at Lahore and the crowd cannot wait a couple more overs will the home team do it it's high in the air there's a fielder running towards it under the lights what a catch yes a shot is uh, pulled off a stunner hasn't he well, that's brilliant. He kept them down to one. He made sure that Chris Lynn was on strike that delivery with a brilliant diving stop down at long off. And then the very next delivery, he sprints in off the boundary, gets himself just inside the 30-yard circle. And I reckon we might have even got a dive for the cameras in there as well. This went miles up in the air. But just watch Yashishar on the bottom of your screen. Sprinting in. Oh, he dives. He just makes it inside the 30-yard circle. Magnificent. Pulls off the jaunty dive. Have a look. Look. Wow. Well done, Yasir Shah. Big wicket at a crucial time of the innings. Chris Lynn gone for 59. It's 146 for two. 